Hello, dear student. Today you have new topic of gastroenterology and discuss about gallstone disease, chronic cholecystitis and functional biliary disorders. So, bile formed in the hepatic lobules is secreted into a complex network of canaculi, small bile ductals and large Bile ducts then run with lymphatic and branches of the portal vein and hepatic artery in portal tract situated between hepatic lobules. This interlobal bile duct collides to form large septal bile duct that join to form the right and left hepatic ducts, which in turn you need to form the common hepatic duct. The common hepatic duct is joined by the cystic duct of the gallbladder to form the common bile duct, <coughs> which enters the duodenum through the ample of water. Hepatic bile is an isotonic fluid with an electrolyte composition resembling blood plasma. The electrolyte composition of gallbladder bile differs from that of hepatic bile because most of the inorganic anions Chloride and bicarbonate have been removed by reabsorption across the gallbladder epithelium. As a result of water reabsorption, total solute concentration of bile increases from 3-4 gram uh, a deciliter in hepatic bile to 10-15 gram a deciliter in gallbladder bile. May a solute component of bile by most uh, percent include bile acids, lecithin, and traces of other phospholipids and unesterified uh, cholesterol. In the lithogenic state, the cholesterol value can be as high as 8-10%. Uh, other constructions include conjugated bilirubin, proteins, electrolytes, mucols, and often drugs and their metabolites. The total daily basal secretion of hepatic bile is 500-600 uh, uh, milliliter. Uh, three mechanisms are important in regulating bile flow. First, active transport of bile acids from hepatocytes into the bile canaliculi. Second, active transport of other organic anions, and third, holangiocellular secretion. Uh, the main step in the formation of bile are the uptake of bile acids and ions from plasma across the basolateral membrane, transport through the hepatocytes, and excretion via the canal canalicular membrane. Basolateral membrane, the sodium potassium ATPase of the basolateral membrane of the hepatocytes maintains sodium and potassium gradients. Because three sodium ions are expelled from the cell uh, in return for receiving two potassium ions, an electrochemical gradient is formed. The relative negative charge inside the hepatocytes powers the uptake on positively charged ion, while the sodium gradient uh, fills the sodium dependent tarohalite contratransport protein. This transport allows for the uptake on conjugated bile acids. Canalicular membrane. The transported proteins found in the canalicular membrane are primarily a member of the ATP binding cassic protein family. These proteins use active transport to secrete molecules and enzymes into the bile. The canalicular membrane transporters help secrete molecules into the bile against concentration gradients and also enzymes such as alkaline phosphatase. Contractile microfilaments facilitate the secretion of bile through the canalicula. <clears throat> and you may see on this picture bile secretion and composition. So mechanism 
of biosecretion. And uh, what is, uh, what are diseases of the gladder? Uh, what may be? Uh, holy lithiasis. And what is it? Microscopic crystals or large stones in the gallbladder. Next disease, cholecystitis. Inflammation of the bladder. Next, cholecystitis. Uh, is common bile duct stones. Biliary dyskinesia, motility disorders of the gallbladder caused by scarring of spasm of the finger body. Gallbladder perforation, a hole or opening in the wall of the gallbladder. Acute, generalized biliary peritonitis, superacute, acute plus peri uh, pericholecystic abscess and chronic cholecystenteric fistula. Next, this is gallstone pancreatitis. What is it? Inflammation of the pancreas caused by obstruction of the pancreatic duct by a gallstone. And gallbladder polyps, overgrowths or lesions in the gallbladder wall. <coughs> Cholecystitis uh, is defined as inflammation of the gallbladder that occurs most commonly because of an obstruction of the cystic duct from cholelithiasis. 90% of causes involve stone in the gallbladder, with other 10% of causes are representative of calculose cholecystitis. Gallstone disease is very common. About 10-20% uh, of the world population will develop gallstone at some point in their life and about 80% uh, of them are asymptomatic. <clears throat> and cholecystitis divide on acute and chronic condition. What is acute? Acute inflammation of gallbladder wall for usually falls obstruction of the cystic duct by a stone. Inflammatory response can be evoked by three factors. First, mechanical inflammation produced by increased intraluminal pressure and distension with resulting ischemia of the gallbladder, mucosa, and wall. Second, chemical inflammation caused by the release of uh, lecithin and other local tissue factors. And third, bacterial inflammation, which may play a role with 50-85% of patients with acute cholecystitis. And what is chronic condition of <coughs> gallbladder? Chronic inflammation of the gallbladder wall is almost always associated with presence of gallstone and is so uh, to result uh, from repeat bout of subacute or acute cholecystitis or from persistent mechanical irritation of the gallbladder wall by gallstones. The presence of bacteria in the bile occurs in more than 25% of patients with chronic cholecystitis. The presence of infected bile in a patient with chronic cholecystitis undergoing elective cholecystectomy probably adds little to the operative risk. Chronic cholecystitis may be asymptomatic for a year, which may progress to asymptomatic gallbladder disease or to acute cholecystitis or may present with complications. And you may see schematically uh, uh, what happened with gallbladder uh, gallbladder uh, acute cholecystitis and chronic cholecystitis. Yeah, acute cholecystitis, most causes uh, present gallstone uh, and inflammation. And chronic cholecystitis, constant inflammation, first of all, yeah, and after uh, present gallstone.
Chronic lexistasis mostly occurs in the setting of holy lithiasis. Uh, the proposed etiology is a recurrent episode of acute cholecystitis or chronic irritation from gallstones in walking and inflammatory response in the gallbladder wall. Sometimes the term is used to describe abdominal pain resulting from dysfunction in the emptying of the gallbladder. This overlaps with sphincterophobia dysfunction and it best referred to a biliary or gallbladder dyskinesia. Risk factor for holidocholitiosis include female gender, obesity, rapid weight loss, pregnancy at one's uh, age, uh, or uh, Hispanic or Pima Indians. <coughs> but physiology. Gallstones by causing intermittent obstruction of the bile flow, most commonly by blocking the cystic duct lead to inflammation and edema in the gallstone uh, gallbladder wall. Occlusion of the common bile duct, such uh, as in neoplasm or strictures, can also lead to stasis of the bile flow, causing gallstone formation with result uh, chronic cholecystitis. It has been proposed in lithogenic biolites to increase free radical mediated damage for hydrophobic bile salts. That, in association with reduced mucosal protection due to lower level of prostaglandin E2 results, is a continuous inflammatory state. When the whole is uh, holy cystokinin receptor of the smooth muscles are affected, the sympied gallstone contraction then lead to stasis and wor 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 worsens the permissive environment where lithogenic bile promotes inflammation. <clears throat> Cholesterol gallstone are mainly composed of cholesterol that has solidified. Pigmented gallstone or are usually calcified and contain different types of pigment and so it's me. Stones can be small, a grain of sand and large as a gold ball that can even get to encompass the entire cavity of the gallbladder. And you may see uh, on uh, both picture variant uh, of gallstones. Pigmented or calcified gallstones, cholesterol gallstones, <clears throat> and all uh, and similar on this picture. Cholesterol gallstones. More than 80% of gallstones contain cholesterol as mere component. Liver cells secrete cholesterol in bile along with phospholipids in the form of small spherical membranous bubbles termed uh, unilamellar vesicles. Liver cells also secrete bile salts, which are powerful detergent required for the digestion and absorption of dietary fats. Bile salts and bile dissolve the Unilaminal vesicles to form soluble aggregates called mixed metals. This happens mainly in the gallbladder, where bile is concentrated by the absorption of electrolytes and water. Compare with vesicles, uh, mixed uh, metals have a lower carrying capacity for cholesterol. If bile contains a relatively high proportion of cholesterol to begin with, then a bile is concentrated. Progressive dissolution of vesicles may lead to a state in which the cholesterol carrying capacity of the metals and residual vessels in exceeded. At this point, bile is supersaturated with cholesterol and cholesterol monohydrate crystal may form. Those the main factors that determine where the cholesterol gallstones with form are. First, amount of cholesterol secreted by liver cells relative to lecithin and bile salt. And second, the degree of concentration extent of staining of bile in the gallbladder. <coughs> Calcium, bilirubin, and pigment gallstones. 
Bilirubin yield pigment derived from the breakdown of hem and extra actively secreted in the bile by liver cells. Most of the bilirubin in bile is in the form of glucuronid conjugates, which are water soluble and stable, but a small proportion consists of unconjugated bilirubin. Unconjugated bilirubin, like fatty acids, phosphatate, carbonate, and other anions, tends to form insoluble precipitates with calcium. Calcium enters bile passively along with other electrolytes. The situation of high hem turnover, such as chronic hemolysis or cirrhosis, unconjugated bilirubin may be present in bile and higher than normal concentrations. Calcium bilirubinate may then crystallize from the solution and eventually form stones. <coughs> Over time, various oxidation has uh, caused the bilirubin precipitates to take on a jet black color and stone form in the manner are termed black pigment gallstones. Black pigment stones present 10 20 percent of gallstones. Bio is normally sterile, but in some unusual circumstances. It can become colonized with bacteria. The bacteria hydrolyze conjugated bilirubin, and the resulting increase in unconjugated bilirubin may lead to precipitation of calcium bilirubinate crystals. Bacteria also hydrolyze lecithin to release fatty acid, which also may bind calcium and precipitate from the solution. The resulted concretion have a clay-like consistently and turn brown pigment stones. Unlike cholesterol or black pigment gallstones, which form almost exclusively in the blood, brown pigment gallstones often form the null in the bile ducts. Brown pigment gallstones are usual in the United States, but are fairly common in some part of Southeast Asia, possibly related to liver fluke infestation. <coughs> And you see gallbladder with different stones, calcium, bilirubin, and pigment uh, variants of gallstone. And mixed gallstone, cholesterol gallstones may become colonized with bacteria and can elicit uh, gallbladder mucosal inflammation. Uh, lytic enzyme mice from the bacteria and leukocytes hydrolyze bilirubin, conjugates, and fatty acids. As a result, over time, cholesterol stones may accumulate a substantial portion of calcium bilirubinate and other calcium salts producing mixed gallstones. Large stones may develop a surface rim of calcium resembling an egg shell that may be visible on plain X-ray films. <clears throat> uh, symptomatic patients with chronic cholecystitis usually present with dull right upper abdominal pain that radiates around the waist to the mid-back or right scapula tip. The pain may be exacerbated by fatty food intake, but the classical postprandial pain or acute cholecystitis is less common. Noisy and occasional vomiting also accompany complaints of increased bloating and flatulence. Often the symptoms occur in the evening or at night. Symptoms are usually present over weeks to months and opposed to the abrupt severe presentation of acute uh, cholecystitis. Uh, there might be a gradual worsening of symptoms or an increase in the frequency of episodes, fever, and tachycardia are rare. Patients with uh, cholecystitis may present with vague symptoms and there is a risk of progression to complicated disease. Hence, a high index of clinical suspicion is required in the diagnosis of this condition. 
<clears throat> health sun disease may be through of uh, having the following four stages. The lithogenic state in which a condition for gallstone formation are symptomatic gallstones. Symptomatic gallstones characterized by episodes of biliary colic and complicated cholelithiasis. Symptoms are complication and complication of gallstone disease result from uh, effect occurring within the gallbladder or from stone that is gave the gallbladder to lodge in the common the bile duct. Asymptomatic gallstones, gallstone may be present in the gallbladder for decades without causing symptoms or complication. <clears throat> In patients with asymptomatic gallstone discovered uh, incidentally, uh, the likelihood of developing symptoms or complication is 1-2% per year. In most cases, uh, asymptomatic gallstones do not require any treatment. <clears throat> biliary colic. Pain term biliary colic over when gallstone or sludge a uh, fortuitously impact in the cystic duct during a gallbladder contraction, increasing gallbladder wall tension. <clears throat> in most cases, the pain resolves over 30 to 90 minutes as the gallbladder relaxes and the obstruction is relieved. Episodes of biliary colic are sporadic and unpredictable. The patient localizes the pain to the epigastrium of right upper quadrant and pain describes radiation to the right scapula tube. Uh, the pain begins postprandially, is often described as tense and dull, and may last from 1 to 5 hours. From onset, the pain increases steadily over about 10 uh, to 20 minutes and then gradually wanes when the gold blood stops contracting and the stone falls back into the gallbladder. The pain in constant in nature and is not relieved by amazing antacidification, latus or positional change. It may be accompanied by diaphoresis, nausea, vomiting. Other symptoms often associated with cholelithiasis include ingestion, dyspepsia, biopsin, bloating, and fat intolerance. However, they are very nonspecific and occur in similar frequencies in individu individuals with and without gallstones. Cholecystoectomy has not been shown to improve these symptoms. Distinguishing uncomplicated biliary colic from acute cholecystitis on other complications is important. Key findings that may be not included the following. Uncomplicated biliary colic, pain that is poorly localized and visceral, and essentially benign abdominal examination without rebound or guarding. Absence of fever. Acute cholecystitis, well-localized pain in the right upper quadrant, usually with rebound and cutting. Positive Murphy sign, frequent presence of fever, absence of peritoneal signs, frequent presence of tachycardia and diaphoresis. In severe causes, absence of hypoactive bile salt. Uh, and what about uh, examination? Uh, of patient with uh, disorders of uh, gallbladder. Uh, may uh, provide uh, uh, abdominal radiography used primarily to exclude other causes of abdominal pain, uh, for example, intestinal obstruction. Black pigment or mixed gallstone may contain sufficient calcium to appear radiopaque on plain films. The finding of air in the bile duct or plain films may indicate development of a holidohenteric fistula or ascending cholangitis with gas forming organism. Classification as a gallbladder wall is indicative of severe chronic cholecystitis. The main role of plain films in relating patients with suspected gallstone disease is to include 
are the causes of acute abdominal pain, such as intestinal obstruction, visceral perforation, renal stones, or chronic calcific pancreatitis. And you may see radiography with stone cholecystography. The following symptoms are characteristic for patients with chronic cholecystitis. Absence of gallbladder shadow, uh, rearrangements, uh, the rearrangements of concentration, ability, and motility of gallbladder, deformation of gallbladder wall. <coughs> Ultrasonography, uh, the procedure of choice in suspected gallbladder or biliary disease, is not more sensitive, specific, non invasive, and inexpensive test for the detection of gallstones. It is highly sensitive and specific for the gallstone greater than 2 millimeter. Uh, it is uh, less so for microlithiasis and biliary sludge ultrasonographies, very useful for diagnosing uncomplicated acute cholecystitis. The sonographic future of acute cholecystitis include gallbladder, wall sinking, uh, peri. Uh, Periholocytic fluid, gallstone distension, and sonographic Murphy sign. Uh, the presence of multiply criteria increases the diagnostic occurrence. Endoscopic ultrasonography, inaccurate and related non invasive means of identified stone in the distal common uh, blood uh, duct. Ultrasonographic uh, criteria of information of in gallbladder. Thickness of wall of uh, gallbladder more than 4 mm in the absence of liver and kidney pathology and congestive heart failure. Increase of gallbladder size over 5 cm above the normal for the corresponding age. Present of sonographic neurophysine. Present of parasitic hypoagenic limbus. CT. Uh, Imaging, computer tomography, more expensive and less sensitive than ultrasonography for detecting gallbladder stones by superior for demonstrated stone in the distal common bile duct. Magnetic resonance imaging with magnetic resonance, hovangiopancreatography, MRCP, usually restored for causes in which holidocholitiasis is suspected. Scintigraphy highly accurate for the diagnosis of cystic duct obstruction. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopathography AR. CP is usually performed in conjunction with endoscopic retrograde synthy, uh, sphincterotomy and gallstone extraction. And these methods are uh, used to investigate abnormalities of the bile duct, pancreatic duct, and ampulla using an endoscope. And differential diagnostic of chronic cholecystitis. There are other common medical conditions that can mimic the presentation of chronic cholecystitis. A through analysis of the clinical presentation often can quite uh, gu gu uh, appropriate workup. Common clinical features of these disorders are the following. Acute cholecystitis, gallbladder cancer, peptic ulcer disease, uh, ga uh, gastroesophageal reflux disease, gastric cancer, myocardial infarction, mesenteric ischemia, mesenteric vasculitis. <clears throat> and treatment. Treatment of cholecystitis. Uh, holy uh, cystitis depends on the severity of condition and the presence or absence of complications. Uncomplicated causes can often be treated on an outpatient basis. Antibiotics may be given to manage infection. So, treatment phase of exacerbation. Antibiotics. 
indication for antibiotic therapy present or clinical and laboratory since of information positive results of bioculture holongitis. Ciprofloxacin 500 mg to a day per was cause five day. Cefotoxin 1 gram to a day uh, intramuscular. Doxycycline 100 mg to a day per was cause five days. Amoxicillin 500 mg 3 for a day. Tinida low 4 pills per was of once. Symptomatic therapy, prokinetic agent, domperidone 10mg or itoprid uh, 50mg, 3 a day, 3 minutes prior to meals. Spasmolytics, mebeverin 200 to a day course 3-4 weeks, drotaverin uh, 40mg 3 day before meals, papaverin uh, 2% per, uh, to uh, milliliter intramuscular. Uh, Bioexpelling medication, preparation that stimulate uh, holopoietic function of the liver. Uh, preparation of biodox, holenzyme, aliabilum, synthetic preparation, oxymetadine, cyclovalone, preparation of herbal origin, straw flower extract, peppermint extract, corn stigmas. Preparation that improves secretion of bile by increasing of its aqueous component, mineral water. Preparation that stimulate bilior extraction, polykinetics, xylit, sorbate, magnesium sulfate, holiospasmolytics, anti-holinergic drugs, aminophilin, <clears throat> and also desoxyholic acid, uh, 8-10 mg a kilogram a day, and herbal, hep uh, herbal hepatoprotector with bioexpelling properties. And phase of remission and treatment uh, when patients have phase of remission. Diet meal <clears throat> five six times a day include exclude fatty, fried, spicy, uh, smoked food, pickles, uh, alcohol, uh, cigarettes. Uh, phytotherapy, mineral water, physiotherapy, exercise therapy. And treatment of asymptomatic gallstones, surgical treatment of asymptomatic gallstones without medically complicated diseases is uh, discouraged. Uh, uh, the risk of complication arising from intervention is higher than the risk of symptomatic disease. Approximately 25% of patients with asymptomatic gallstones develop symptoms within 10 years. <coughs> However, cholecystectomy for asymptomatic gallstones may be indicated in the following patient. Patient with large gallstones greater than 2 cm in diameter. Uh, patient with non-functional or calcified gallbladder absurd of imaging studies and who are at risk of gallbladder carcinoma. Patient with spinal cord injuries or sensory neuropathies affecting the abdomen. Patient with sickle cell anemia is uh, whom the distinction between painful crisis and cholecystosis uh, may be difficult. Uh, may, patient with a risk factor for complication of gallstones may be offered elective cholecystectomy, even if we, uh, they have asymptomatic gallstone. And their groups include persons with the following condition and demographic, cirrhosis, portal hypertension, children, transplant candidates, uh, diabetes with minor symptoms. Patient with a calcified of porcelain uh, gallbladder should consider elective cholecystectomy due to the possible increased risk of carcinoma. Refer to a surgeon to removal as an outpatient procedure. <coughs> Medical dissolution of gallstone. In patient with established cholesterol uh, gallstone treatment with also desoxyholic acid at a dose of 8-10 mg. Uh, kilogram a day divided by 
may result in gradual gallstone dissolution. In this intervention typically require 6, 18 uh, months and it's successful only with small purely costal stones. The patient remains at risk for gallstone complication until the solution is completed. <clears throat> the recurrence rate is 50% within 5 years. Moreover, after discontinuation of uh, treatment, most patients form new gallstone over the sub subsequences 5-10 years. <clears throat> And treatment of patient with symptomatic gallstone uh, discuss the option of, of surgical intervention. In surgical intervention to consider include the following cholecystectomy, cholecystostomy, and endoscopic sphincterotomy. So patient with uh, uh, with uh, cholecystitis, uh, with symptomatic hailstone, uh, have three, vari three variants of surgical intervention and uh, depend on uh, condition of patient. So you may see uh, dosage uh, for two variant of uh, acid, yeah, uh, channel desoxyholic acid and also desoxyholic acid. So you may see dosage for also desoxyholic and uh, dosage uh, for channel desoxyholic acid and therapy duration for both uh, variant of uh, acid and uh, adverse effect. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, this treatment uh, have uh, side, yeah, side effects, but uh, only uh, in 10 uh, uh, percent of all cases. And next part of uh, this lecture, holidocholitiasis. Uh, holidocholitiasis is the presence of stones within the common bile duct. It is estimated that common bile duct stones are present in anywhere from uh, one to uh, 15 percent of patients with holidocholitiasis. <clears throat> holidocholitiasis uh, occurs as a result of other formation of stones is a common bile duct of the passage of gallstones that are formed in the gallbladder in the common bile duct. <clears throat> bile stays, bacteria leave, chemical imbalance increase, bilirubin extraction, pH in imbalance and the formation of sludge are some of the factors which lead to the formation of these stones. Less commonly, uh, stones are formed in the intrahepatic biliary tree during primary hepatolytiasis and may lead to holidocholitiasis. Stones that are too large to pass through the ample water remain in the distal common bile duct, causing obstructive junctions that may lead to pancreatitis, hepatitis, and holangitis. <coughs> Holidocholitiasis is more common if a male patient, pregnant patient, older patient, and those with high serum lipid level. Cholesterol stones are typically found in obese uh, patients with low physical activity or patients that have recently interventionally lost weight. Black pigment stones are found in patients with cirrhosis, patient uh, re receiving total parenteral nutrition, and in those have undergone an ileal resection. Nucleotidian factors such as bacteria are the source of the brown pigment, primarily common bile duct stones. Bile made in the liver and stored in the gallbladder can lead to gallstone formation. 
In some patients with gallstones, the stones will pass from the gallbladder into the cystic duct and then into the common bile duct. Most of the cholidocholitiasis causes are secondary to the gallstone passage from the gallbladder in the common, blood, uh, common bile duct. Primary cholidocholitiasis, which is the formation of stones within the common bile duct, is seen then commonly. Primary cholidocholitiasis occurs in the setting of the bile stasis, which result in intraductal stone formation. <clears throat> the size of the bile duct increases with age. All the adults with dilated bile duct and biliary diverticula are at risk for the formation of primary bile duct stones. Less common sources of cholidocholitiasis include complicated misery syndrome or hepatolytiasis. <clears throat> and you see cholidocholitiasis in gallbladder. You may see hepatolytiasis uh, in bile duct and cholidocholitiasis in common bile duct. <clears throat> and uh, some information about symptoms. Yeah, first of all, uh, what symptoms? Colic, upper right quadrant pain, and after jaundice. Doctors should examine the patient with particular intention to general appearances, skin, vital scenes, and abdomen. Tenderness is noted in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. Systemic uh, scenes such as fever, hypertension, uh, and flat skin, if present, is indicated of infection or sepsis. Pulvazier's sign is the presence of palpable gallbladder with the exam and is seen when gallbladder dilation of the lobe due to the obstruction of the common bile duct. The pain is colicky located in the right upper quadrant of abdomen and moderate in severity. The pain is intermittent and recurrent, often patient with and tours a history of episodes of epigastric right upper quadrant pain or epigastric pain. As through review of systems, we will review uh, that the patient may have noticed a yellowing of these eyes of skin, <clears throat> experiences uh, proprietos and possibly nausea or vomiting. John this occurs when the stones obstruct the common bile duct and conjugated bilirubin enters the bloodstream. A history included K cover stones and urine turning T covered in found in such patients. Jaundice can occur in episodes. A patient with hormonitis also may have a fever, chills, and possibly alterate mental status. Gallstones are responsible for approximately half of all causes on pancreatitis. Pancreatitis is precipitated when common bile duct obstruction is at the level of the upper water, pancreatic pain is located in the epigastric and mid-abdomen areas, and is continuous and radiated to the back. Nausea and vomiting are also present. Some patients have intermittent pain, which result due to transient blockage within the common bile duct. And doctor should order a wide blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, platelets count, total bilirubin, direct bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase, aspartate aminotransferase, and alkaline aminotransferase. Transabinal ultrasound is the first test that should be ordered for the patient suspected of any biliary disease, included cholidocholitiasis. In most cases, an abdominal ultrasound will show a dilated common bile duct and stones within the common bile duct. The detection of uh, common bile duct stones is typically impeded by the presence of gas in the duodenum, but ultrasound can identify common bile duct dilatation accurately with up to 
uh, percent accuracy. Is a strong suspicion still exists based on history, physical, and laboratory findings in the face of a negative ultrasound, then a mag magnetic resonance of angular photography can be ordered. Treatment for holidocholitiasis is removal of the obstruction stones via endoscopic means. An endoscopic retrograde holonger photography can be performed under general anesthesia with a patient in either prone, left lateral, or supine position. Through the prone is the most common position used. The endoscopist will then place a duodenal scope into the second portion of the duodenum and advance a catheter and guide wire in the common bile duct. A sphincterotomy then is used to cut the papilla using cautery and enlarge the ample of water. Often the stones will be released within maneuver. A balloon catheter also can be used to sweep the common bile duct to remove any stone. The endoscopist also can place a stent in the common bile duct which will serve two purposes. First, any remaining stones will soften it and potentially easy to remove the second RACP. Second, the stent will lower the bile drainage to occur prevented obstructive changes. In the stones are large stock, or oh, there are many stones within the biliary tree. <coughs> Surgical removal is indicated. There are no medications that will cure halidocholitiasis. However, a one-time dose of 50 mg to a 100 mg rectal endometacin can be used to prevent post-procedure pancreatitis if the Pancreatic duct was manipulated uh, during um, ERCP. Antibiotics are typically not needed for halidocholitiasis unless the patient has uh, associated halidocholitiasis uh, or cholonitis. And functional biliary disorders. Biliary dyskinesia is an enigmatic but important condition to consider in the evaluation of patient with right upper quadrant. Paid. As for history, work up and examination are needed and the diagnosis is primarily and diagnosis of exclusion. Proper selection of patient for holister, uh, holocystectomy is essential in order to avoid unnecessary operative intervention. And uh, what is it? Biliary dyskinesia is symptom uh, uh, symptomatic functional disorders or gallbladder uh, whose precise etiology is unknown. It may be due to demolitic metabolic disorders that affect the motility of the gastrointestinal tract, including the gallbladder, or primary alternation in the motility of the gallbladder itself. Biliary dyskinesia presence with a symptom complex that is similar to those with biliary colic. Symptoms uh, Episodes of right upper quadrant pain, severe pain that limits activities of daily living, nausea associated with episodes of pain. In order to diagnose biliary dyskinesia, the patient should have right upper quadrant pain similar to biliary colic but have a normal ultrasound examination of the cord blood. So for patients who are suspected to have biliary dyskinesia, the room three diagnostic criteria for functional gallbladder disorder should be considered. <clears throat> this include pain episodes uh, they uh, last longer than 30 minutes, recurrent symptoms that occur at various intervals, pain that is severe enough to interrupt daily activity, pain that built up to steady level, pain that is not relieved by wall movements, postural change, and antacids. Exclusion of other structural disease that should uh, could be explained as a symptom. 
as a supportive recreation club, association of pain with noise and vomiting, radiation of the pain to the infrascopular region, and pain that wakes the patient in the middle of the night. Normal liver enzymes conjugated bilirubin and amylase uh, and lipase. <coughs> Uh, when and how should a uh, HADA scan be obtained? If a patient meets uh, this criterion, has normal ultrasound uh, examination, hepatobiliary uh, immunodiacetic uh, acid scan should be considered. Recently updated criteria for the performance of hepatobiliary scintigraphy should be followed to determine the cold blood ejection fraction. <clears throat> the guidelines recommended imaging and halocystokinin octopeptid inclusion as a slow at content rate over uh, six means. Also include an important clinical consideration prior to testing. Performance of the test only on an outpatient basis, no opioids for or half leave of the drugs all six hours prior to the body study, without holding other drugs which affect cow blood motility include calcium blocker, optiaprid, progesterone, indomethacin, atelophilin, benzodiazepines, H2 blockers. Hepatobiliary immunodiacetic acid scan is a major procedure used to diagnose problems of the liver, gallbladder, and bile ducts, also known as holocystography and hepatobiliary scintigraphy. And uh, this scan uh, may be done to measure the rate of the which the gallbladder releases bio, commonly referred to as gall blood injection fraction, check the liver's bioexpression function, follow the path of bio from the liver to the small intestine, assess the outcome of liver transplantation, find the cause of pain originating in the right side of the abdomen, uncover the cause of janine or yellowish hue to skin. And scans can help diagnose the following. Biliary artery, the uh, holocystitis or formation of the gallbladder, complication of operation, uh, and obstruction of the bile duct. And uh, patients who have episodes of biliary type uh, right upper quadrant without structure abnormalities by ultrasound and an abnormal hepatobiliary immunosyndrome diuretic acid scan should be considered for a cholecystectomy. An abnormal ejection fraction considered to the less than 38% uh, percent when the test is administered according to the guidelines described above. Some authors and experts recommended that the symptoms complex should also be of sufficient, sufficient duration before considering cholecystectomy. <clears throat> so, thank you for your attention. If you have questions, please welcome to comments. And see you again on next uh, Thursday with new topic of gastroenterology. Have a nice day. Goodbye.